The Add More Light Bar with Smart Break technology comes pre-programmed and is ready to install and use right out of the box. If you want to modify any of the programmable functions of the Add More Light Bar, you'll need to download the Add More Configurator by clicking on this card or the URL posted below this video. Using the Add More Configurator is easy, and this video will guide you through the process of installing it on your Windows 7 through 10 machine. Windows 7 is shown here for reference, but the installation process is generally the same. Using the Add More Configurator on an Apple device requires using the command line. More details about this are available at www.addmorelighting.com. Once the zip file is downloaded, click on it to install the configurator and the driver. Depending on your version of Windows, you may see various prompts as shown here asking if you want to continue with the operation. Simply reply in the affirmative to all such prompts to continue letting the installation wizard do its thing until finally the program is installed. With the light bar on the motorcycle, simply loosen one of the 3mm Allen bolts and swivel it down. Next, remove the red dust cap, as shown here. Beneath the dust cap is the USB connector. Take the USB cable and connect it to the USB connector on one side and to your computer on the other side. Finally, turn power on. If the light bar isn't on the motorcycle, simply connect it to a 12 volt source. On some computers, the driver will automatically find the light bar, but on others, we're going to have to manually point it there. So this will guide you through that process. First, let's look at the device manager. Once found, we can see under other devices, the light bar is shown as MSP430 USB example, as shown here. We're going to go to Properties, and we see that the driver is not installed. So we're going to go to the Driver tab, Update Driver, and Browse the computer. We remember that it was installed under Program Files x86. So all we have to do Let's go down to Program Files x86, click on it, find the Add More folder, click on it, and there it is, WinDrive. Hit that, hit OK, and that will put things together. Please note that on Windows 8 Plus and later versions, Signature driver enforcement may need to be temporarily disabled to allow the driver to install. Now the driver successfully installed, and most importantly, we see that it's placed the device at COM5. This may change on your computer, just take note which COM port it's on. Now it's time to actually use the configurator. And the first step is going to be setting it up for this device. So we go to File and then Serial and put in the COM port that we remembered from before. In this case, COM5. Whatever your COM is, put that number in. Leave speed at 9600 baud, data bits at 8, stop bits at 1, and parity and flow control at none. Now we can control the entire thing from the accelerometer sensor to the sensitivity, brake light brightness brake light modulation, license plate LED, the LED strobe setting, and the deceleration sequence brightness. Once you have the light bar configured how you want it, simply remove the USB cable and reinstall the dust cap. Just press it in place as shown. Swivel the light bar back into place and tighten up with your three millimeter Allen Remember, if you have any questions or need more information, please don't hesitate to contact us.